Today we're going to go over some things you're going to experience with making the move here to Duluth, Minnesota. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Elkin, the real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're interested in all things Duluth, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're even thinking about making the move here and buying property, reach out anytime at the email or phone number on the screen below. I would love to help you out. I love hearing from everybody. But first, let's talk a little bit more about what it's like living here in Duluth. All right, now for anyone wondering what you're going to experience a little bit from year to year here, what to plan around a little bit, what it's like living in the Duluth area, I do want to go over a number of different topics. And the first one I want to go over today is a little bit more in uh, depth on the weather because I get a lot of questions on it. It is a big part of living in the Duluth uh, and surrounding areas about how things change year to year and different things you may experience here, especially when it comes to winter. That has been drastically different the last couple of winters. And you can typically plan on winter kind of starting in the like mid-November time frame. I talk a lot about uh, the difference in what you might experience in different uh, snow types of snow, snow levels here. And as we kind of get into uh, December, even though winter technically doesn't start until the end of December, you will have winter-like conditions before then, typically when it comes to uh, temperature and maybe experiencing some snow too. Uh, like I said, mid-November is a big time uh, around here for that. And uh, it can snow before then. Typically, it's going to not be a ton of snow. It may be a little bit that melts sooner, uh, but you never know. Uh, but that's usually what you may experience before uh, mid-November. And as you get into more winter-like temperatures uh, in December, January tends to be the colder month on average if you're looking at historicals. So definitely look up uh, the weather historicals as you're looking at living here. But a few Winters ago, we did break the record for uh, the snowfall for the season, which was uh, a lot of fun, but it was a lot of work for snow removal. Uh, you will witness uh, a few different things happen uh, if we get a lot of snow in a short amount of time, and it can take a little bit to uh, do the snow removal in certain parts of the city, whether it be the sidewalk, sometimes if we get a lot of snow uh, in a short amount of time, or if there's a lot of snow in a season, uh, they may have to bring in like excavators and uh, put dirt or dirt uh, snow into uh, dump trucks and haul it away because there's no room to put it. You can't just plow uh, it all into a snowbank everywhere in the city. They do have to haul it away. So it can take a little bit for some of that, depending on how much snow we get. Like, But this past winter, we had almost no snow. So two very different extremes. I've never uh, personally been around or witnessed uh, a winter like this past one uh, either when we've uh, had such a low amount of snowfall. It, it also uh, will directly impact uh, some things like activities. Uh, so, of course, if there's no snow, really, you can't uh, snowmobile. So certain things like that may change depending on what's going on with the weather and what we're kind of experiencing season to season. So uh, keep that in mind. And as we kind of went into spring here, we were having a really dry season because of the lack of snow. It is starting to rain a lot, though, uh, which has helped a ton. So that is a big part of what you deal with uh, with the varying seasons. Uh, so you're not only going to be buying more clothes to deal with the changing weather and different things like that, but it can adjust uh, what activities uh, you may be able to do um, for certain parts of the year like that. And like right now, it's uh, because of all the rainfall, it can be really muddy. Uh, and we're also getting a lot of like re really windy uh, weather lately. We've got a, a couple of really gusty wind days that have happened and so you may experience certain things like that as well uh, and with like the rain it may make the trail conditions not usable so certain public trails may be shut down uh, just to make uh, sure the conditions remain uh, good for when everything dries out so keep that in mind as you're kind of looking around uh, using different uh, parts of the area like the trail systems and whatnot and as we get into summertime, that can also change. Uh, we may have a dry season like we did last summer. It was a little drier um, um, in like June through like August. And then it started raining more. So uh, we weren't really mowing a lot here. And you did, uh, there were certain uh, like campfire alerts if 
as for different areas on if they wanted to have a campfire at all or something like that. So they're very uh, conscious in the area on keeping an eye on what the weather is doing to make sure everyone's safe. So keep an eye on that. Um, uh, there's a lot to, to watch out for. You'll definitely be keeping an eye on what is going on with the weather uh, when you make the move here. And um, that's a, a really big part to live in here. And I do want to mention something else really quick is the development going on in the area because we do have uh, a lot going on lately. I, I know housing is a big topic, but I do want to talk about some of the other aspects of living here that have been, I, I think, really cool to see. And that's uh, I've talked a lot about like the addition of Costco that wasn't always here. Uh, so that's a couple years old now, but that is a really big addition. We've got an Ashley Furniture. Uh, they've been making additions to uh, the mall. So Sencha Health's been over there. Um, uh, there's some new restaurants around the area. Uh, they've updated the parking lot. We've got some new apartments going up. And it's been really cool to see the extra development in the area uh, for some of that. So that's that's really nice. And our retail area, as I've mentioned too, is really built up around the mall area. We've got it spread out through some other spots, but a lot of the bigger stuff will be in the mall area. So they're doing some additions around there. Uh, and that's also where you'll find like Target, Best Buy, uh, Home Depot, uh, all, and it'll stretch into like the uh, Herman, city of Hermantown area a little bit as well. You'll also find like Menards and some other stuff as well. Some uh, uh, restaurants will be all over. We're, we have a lot of small business as well, so you'll see that spread out uh, throughout not only the mall area, but that may be like downtown Duluth, Canal Park, uh, maybe in East Duluth or West Duluth. There's going to be varying spots uh, with different things as well. Uh, but in some of these uh, like neighborhoods may have like a gas station or small grocery store, so you don't always have to leave uh, the zone to uh, get stuff which is always nice as well. So uh, we've also got uh, like bigger projects, like the freeway project going on still. I, I know that's going to be a big deal this year, but it'll be nice when it is done. So that's going to be really nice, uh, hopefully in the next couple of years here. And it, it's officially done. So uh, that'll be a really big part of uh, using the area. They're looking into more development too in different parts. Uh, so that'll be interesting how things really change and uh, they increase more housing around here, so uh, definitely look for what's going on uh, in the area. You will want to make sure uh, to line as much up as you possibly can in planning your move here. So I would definitely reach out and we can walk through all the main steps and what to watch out for, uh, so especially when it comes to planning. I can help alleviate a lot of that and when you're looking at making a home purchase, especially long distance, I highly recommend uh, checking out the area if it's been a while. There's been a lot of changes like I was talking about and a lot coming up so that makes it easier too if you're not in the area to make the purchase uh, necessarily and it also can help uh, with the planning process for really what kind of home you're looking for, how many bedrooms are going to work, what layout will work for square footage as well, you know what's too small of a home, uh, what can what kind of layout do you want in the basement, does it need to be finished, uh, can it just be for storage space? What kind of general feel of the, the yard space do you want? Do you want to be next to a park? So this is all going to be really helpful in the planning that up front. So that way, when the right house does pop up, we can make a quick move on it and not uh, miss a potential dream house for you. So that is all part of how things are changing so quickly. And I highly recommend planning sooner than later. Well, there you go. There is a little bit more information about living here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in Duluth or the surrounding areas, reach out anytime at the email or phone number on the screen below. I would love to help you out.